April 22nd, about 67 degrees Fahrenheit outside, and we are in the uh, in the Willamette Valley near Corvallis. Got Western Buttercup blooming, along with some camas. Try not to step on the wildflowers too much. I'm gonna check under some artificial cover. And got some uh, grasses blooming, which is uh, uh, it's fox something. What do we got here? We got uh, some of the clovers blooming down here. I'm not sure what type of clover this is. It doesn't look like the... This might be one of our native ones. Because it doesn't look like uh, the typical white clover. It's a bit breezy. Little jumping spider. Look at that. It's an adult gopher snake. Rattling the tail a little bit. I'm gonna go let this guy go after I take a few photos. Going back under the board. Alright, let's see what else we can find. Oh, it's a gorgeous canvas. Snowberry coming up. A 
poison oaks leafing out. And leafing out near where I'm stepping. So, remember, the oak, poison oak leaves are quite variable, but if you see those leaves of three, and you're not sure, leave it be. They don't have thorns on them, but, uh, so you probably won't mistake it for a blackberry, which also has leaves of three. Uh, but if you don't know, no better best not to touch it. Oh, we got Senicula starting to bloom, it looks like. Ooh, even got some beetles on it. Let's see here. Looks like we have some weevils breeding. Weevils are a type of beetle. Generally have a large snout. Let's see if we can find anything basking here. Saw a racer basking the other day here. By the other day, I mean about four days ago. There's oftentimes uh, northwestern guard snakes out and around here. Here we actually got an actual oak right next to poison oak. Uh, that's the poison oak's just starting to leaf out there. But this one right here is going to be an actual oak. That's a young one. Got uh, red as your dogwood leafing out. Not seeing anyone surface active, but I might just be missing them. Sometimes they blend in real well. In the cross. Find a garter snake or a goof snake or even a racer under one of these rocks. Possibly out basking and I just miss them. A 
Although it's ideal to uh, spot them before they start moving when they're out basking. Sometimes they're real easy to miss. me when I can see. Or at least that I'm spotting. Oregon manroot or Oregon wild cucumber. This one's about to bloom, but some are already, some that are probably more expensive, those are already blooming. Ah, I don't know what this is. This uh, grass that's blooming here is meadow foxtail. Looks like Timothy, but blooms earlier. Alright, this is where I'm going to have to set the camera down because this is a two hand job pretty much. Hopefully not put it down in poison oak. surface. Hmm. See how common that clover is. It's probably the non-native white clover. I just thought it usually had more full heads of uh, flowers, but could be wrong. There's a little brown bird. And this piece right here is pretty new, but you occasionally get garter snakes and stuff underneath stuff. Got a big rock to lift. Set the phone down again. Ooh. So no herbs, but I found an interesting species nonetheless in there. Ah! That's biting me right now. Oh. Ah. 
Wow. Just like here. Probably have to suffer a few more bites for this. So this is one of our flightless tiger beetles. And based on its elytra, this one's Omus dejanii, as it bites me. It's not too bad. Anyway, it's cool. Pretty cool little tiger beetle. As it goes to potentially bite me again. There, there you go, you can see his bite strength. Oh, you got his jaw stuck in there a little bit. So you got under the skin a little bit there. Ah! Reminds me of getting bit by some of the smaller lizards. Anyways, I thought it was pretty cool. I don't actually get to see uh, this one very often. I see more Adoini eye. Or Adoini. Oh, uh, look at that guy. Oh, let go. Let's let him go. There we go. Whew. Let's look here. Did leave with us uh, some small indentations on my hand, but not too bad. It looks like he broke maybe the some of the upper areas, but nothing bleeding. That was pretty cool. So yeah, those are known as night stalking, night stalking tiger beetles. So that's what the entire genus is uh, known for. Looks like a good place for maybe like a racer or a garter snake to be out basking. Possibly a grub snake. It might be a little chilly for some of the bigger grub snakes, so maybe a smaller grub snake might be out basking. But we also may not see something out basking because uh, wind tends to be a deterrent for surface activity in snakes. I'm not sure if it's the movement or the effect on body temperature. Didn't get to see a whole lot, but got to see some cool things. It's my first adult gopher snake of the year. And my first uh, Omis uh, Dejanii in quite some time. I think it's been uh, at least a year or two since I've seen, seen one. Omis uh, Dejanii I see frequently though. All right.